everyone. Welcome to Auto Age. When it comes to electric vehicles, the topics and emotions of public opinion are always drawn by Tesla, CATL, BYD and Weixiali, the three major companies in China's new car-making power, that is, NIO, Xpeng, leading ideal. But what you may not have noticed is that the combined annual deliveries of all these famous electric car manufacturers in the Chinese market are not comparable to the two oligarchs on the adjacent track. On July 5 this year, Neo Technologies, a U.S.-listed company, announced its sales data for the second quarter of 2022. According to the announcement, Nyo sold a total of 208,857 two-wheeled electric vehicles in the second quarter, compared with 252,998 in the same period in 2021, a year-on-year -year decrease of 17.4%. In terms of stock price performance in the secondary market, as of July 6, Nyo closed at $7.40 per share down more than 80% from the $53.38 per share set in February 2021. As of the time I just wrote this article, September 14, the closing price of NIO was $5.26 per share. Then why is NIO Technologies mentioned here? Because in the eyes of ordinary people, NIO Technologies is still very powerful. Just mentioning its founder, Lian Nan, we can tell a very long story. Li Yinan was born in Changsha, Hunan, China in 1970. He enrolled in the talents class of Huazhong University of Science and Technology at the age of 15, entered Huawei at the age of 23, was promoted to chief engineer at the age of 25, and became the youngest executive vice president of Huawei at the age of 27. He was once considered to be Rin Zhengfei's successor. But it was such a talented young man who went in and out of Huawei several times, and finally stepped on the internet. The emergence of Neo Technologies successfully set off a new wave in two-wheeled electric vehicles. Yes, today we are talking about electric two-wheelers. As a short and medium-distance travel tool, its market demand has repeatedly increased. However, what I'm talking about today has nothing to do with the brilliant new technologies I have mentioned just now. In FCAT, the two oligarchs are YADEA and AIMA in the field of Chinese electric two-wheelers. In 2021, the sales volume of electric two-wheelers in the Chinese market has reached 41 million units. Among them, YADEA and AIMA electric vehicles dominate this market with a combined market share of nearly 50%, is the sales volume of more than 250,000 vehicles of NIO technologies not worth mentioning in front of them? Over the years, with the continuous improvement of the industry concentration, the gross and net profit margins of YADEA and AIMA have also been rising, and everything is pretty good and getting better. The happiness of YADEA and AIMA is not only beyond the imagination of BYD and Wei Xiaoli, but also the high-end electric two-wheeled vehicle with a good reputation in the first and second-tier cities, the Maverick. In front of YADEA and AIMA, it is only a nobody, and it is difficult to compare them. So, what exactly is the of electric two-wheelers, the largest electric vehicle segment in China? How did YADEA and AIMA start the duopoly era? Well, the manufacturing industry like two-wheeled electric vehicles, such as assembly, labeling, the competition is often cost and efficiency, so behind the competition pattern represented by the YADEA and AIMA double oligarchy, is actually a reflection of the results of the competition between the two cities and two industrial clusters in the north and south. Yidea is from Wuxi, Jiangsu province in southern China, which has the foundation of the motorcycle industry, and AIMA is from Tianjin in northern China, where the bicycle industry is developed. With the help of similar product genes, 
both places have obvious advantages in industrial synergy and large-scale production. After a long-term industry price war, in fact, these two cities are constantly integrating and integrating production capacity in markets in other regions. In short, YADEA and AIMA are the agents of these two industrial clusters. Today, the factories of these two agents have spread all over Tianjin, Jiangsu Wuxi, Zhuzhang Taizhou, Chongqing, Guangxi and other key production areas, and Yadea has also set up a production base in Vietnam. At present, Yadea's production capacity has reached 17 million units. After the successful listing, AIMA will also expand its production to 14 million minus 17 million units in the next two years. The combined production capacity of the two may reach 70% to 75% of domestic sales, based on the domestic annual sales of 45 million units, the electric two-wheeled vehicle industry has basically been locked. The electric two-wheeler, which has achieved great success in China, will of course not give up overseas markets. The going overseas of electric two-wheelers is a hot topic that has been discussed by the market recently. Perhaps because China's domestic market is also about to enter the second stock phase, the entire industry lacks a second growth curve, so it is only logical to go abroad to break the geographical market. In fact, India plus Southeast Asia is the region with the highest number of motorcycles or two-wheelers in the world. With dense population and relatively backward economy, two-wheel travel is the main travel mode for people in this region. In addition, due to the pressure of energy and environmental protection, the market size of oil for electricity for two-wheelers is basically equal to that of another mainland Chinese market. However, electric two-wheeled vehicles do not have high technical barriers, as well as products to technology, performance of the carrying capacity, so it is difficult to present a similar situation to Tesla's Chinese factory to detonate the domestic new energy market and let Tesla share the dividends released by the Chinese car oil for electricity. Therefore, Yadea's overseas trip to Vietnam is only in the form of leasing factories, planning a production capacity of 500,000 units, and the experimental nature is obvious. However, if it does not enter the overseas market in the form of greenfield investment, there will be high uncertainty in terms of price and customs policy for overseas trade. Given the current global trade environment, it is basically unfeasible to trade overseas. On the other hand, it can be seen from the rise of YADEA and AIMA that the developed motorcycle industry in India plus Southeast Asia can completely incubate their own YADEA and AIMA. A large part of the motorcycles imported by China are shipped from assembly plants in Southeast Asia. Brands include Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Triumph, etc. The Southeast Asian motorcycle industry has a solid foundation. Therefore, the overseas expansion of Chinese electric two-wheeler brands represented by YADEA, AIMA, Neo Technologies and Number 9 is actually not that promising. But under the big goal of carbon neutrality, oil to electricity conversion is a big trend. A solid market share and solid profitability are what every company pursues, and we are full of expectations for how long YADEA and AIMA can stay on top. Thank you for watching. I will update a video at 2045 every day. See you tomorrow.